the fourth key to manifesting spiritual realities engage in spiritual warfare engage in spiritual warfare you will never manifest anything from the spirit that carries weight without engaging in spiritual warfare what is spiritual warfare establishing victory over spirits write it down please establishing victory over spirits and conditions that fight the manifestation of the word in your life establishing victory over spirits and over conditions that fight the manifestation of the word in your life in your life means in your ministry in your home in your business in your sphere of influence first corinthians 16 9 spiritual warfare my god my dear people believe this believe this there is a warfare dimension to transporting realities from the spirit to your realm for a great door let's read together one to read for a great door and effectual is opened unto me uh-huh and there are many adversaries i've taught you here for every door that is to be opened there are adversaries there are adversaries there are adversaries first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 first thessalonians 2 and verse 18 engage in spiritual warfare paul is speaking and he says wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again i tried and tried and tried but satan himself not a demon spirit hindered us satan still fights the manifestation listen all unclean spirits are stubborn spirits all all demonic unclean spirits are stubborn spirits meaning just because the word says they should obey does not mean they will obey the same way the executive arm of a government they pass a decree but it does not mean defaulters will obey they are aware that is the reason why law enforcement agents are released the the basis for the function of law enforcement agents is what the executive have passed is that true or legislature whatever it is and then when it is passed they now catch you wanting and the basis of their punishing you is to let you know you have defaulted an executive order somewhere for instance stay at home for sanitation if you default and they catch you they will tell you you are aware are you aware yes sir if you are fortunate they pardon you if you are not they will find you and you will go to jail that's how it is when God says you are a blessing Satan says what did he say no we'll fight it they first come to you to find out whether you are aware and you believe then they find out whether it has become a reality in your consciousness then they find out whether you have obtained the grace to obey if there is no point they will attack you directly for no reason the, the reason why Satan attacks primarily is because he is antichrist and he's the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy there's no point stealing killing and destruction until there is something to steal something to kill and something to destroy let me tell you the truth the kind of warfare that you have to fight to birth prophecy to your life it will take stamina in the spirit hallelujah it is the reason why you see us pray it is the reason why you see us engage behind the physical manifestations that you see ladies and gentlemen look at me do you know the warfare that satan puts up just to get you to come here to hear what you are hearing now you think the devil will leave you to come to your house just like that but thank god for men and women who understand the art of the altar praying and saying lord everyone who should come and hear this word they will come by the spirit so even when your car does not work just when you are getting offended your neighbor says i'm coming for koinonia today let's go there's no excuse 
it's not a coincidence it was engineered by priesthood say spiritual warfare a family that does not pray will become a victim of Satan a couple that don't pray will be a victim of Satan a mother that does not pray will have her children turn into armed robbers and all kinds of people a father that does not pray is like a man who opened his gate and said, if you are a thief just come in you are welcome to this house because if your house is not a house of prayer I have taught you it becomes a den of robbers a believer who does not pray among many other disadvantages you become a victim of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilences the destructions that waste in noonday someone shout minus me let the devil hear you oh as the arrows fly from wherever you know there there are all kinds of missile technologies today that the army uses that sometimes when you fire a rocket against a nation as they detect it they counter it immediately it's been programmed it will explode that thing in the air there and then fire another rocket following the trajectory where that thing came from come on now to backfire back to the place as i said this thing it just moves something in my spirit back to where it came from Shalakaposia. any man that programs anything against your life in the name that is above all names he returns back to that devil this night he returns back to that devil that night this concept of things backfiring happens so oh. ask her man her man dug a pit he had sized Mordecai this is how this guy will be hung there I wonder how he felt when it was his time to hang the Bible says now the Lord of peace himself is that in your Bible that he will give you peace always and by all means that means anybody that makes himself the trouble of your destiny may the God of vengeance arise over them in this season anybody that has vowed that provided he's alive your family will not laugh your family will not smile I say it again by the God who sent me let the sword of vengeance descend upon them this week descend upon them this week hallelujah I was once told the story of a young lady true story I don't know I think it happened I hope I get the whole story it happened because of jealousy and envy I think maybe some woman I was told stamped her feet and beat her chest in the front of the lady and said provided she's alive that girl will not go forward it will only work if you have not met power did you hear what I said I believe in power oh. I really believe in power we are wasting the time of God's people without power that coalition from anywhere while they make those enchantments while you are sleeping this family should not rise this family should not rise from nowhere like thunder from heaven Tabarus Kadiata a power greater than all powers descends from the realm of the spirit with a manifestation in the physical realm and will scatter every plotting of darkness hallelujah it doesn't tire me to share our story when koinonia started i don't know who innocently decided to kill himself like that that they brought charm and hung it outside when they called my attention to it I, in my mind i said who is this one now huh? you choose your battles with wisdom who wants to you want to kill yourself for nothing abba even in there's something called boxing there's heavy weight there's a what's the other one middle weight there's lightweight it's unfair to join some people together the person who is a lightweight champion he's only a champion based on those he's fighting there are people when he joins the way they will punch him once he will not only fall he will die may you be a heavyweight in the spirit I say may you be a heavyweight in the spirit
Believers, please hear me. Do not let anything and any teaching, I say this with every sense of love, but with every sense of passion, do not let anybody make you downplay the relevance of spiritual warfare. If you believe that thing, you have destroyed your destiny. Now with all you, I love the body of Christ, but I owe you to teach you. Huh? Yes. There is a warfare dimension to living. Some of you, this is where you are now in your destiny actualization. The attacks in your life don't have a reason. And if you keep quiet, say, who did I offend? Have you said that thing before? Hello? Let me answer that question. You don't have to offend anybody. Just be born. Who did Moses offend? Who did Jesus offend? Provided they were born. The moment there is a prophetic word over you, whether you invite the devil or not, he will say, I, we have heard that there is a man of God rising from this family. Where is he? We've heard that there is somebody who is going to carry the grace to take this family out of shame. Satan does not look for everybody. Everybody will be his victim. But pending on the urgency, there are people he knows. If I attack this man, it's equivalent to attacking everybody in that family. So don't say, who did I offend? He will come knocking at your door. Hello, sir. I hear you are the firstborn in this family. I've come to destroy all the ladies to destroy the man. Don't, don't shut the door in fear. Open the door and tell him, all right, you will know that there are weaknesses on earth. You carry the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel, before this family? Listen, how do you know that you are under attack when the occurrences in your life do not match up? Are we together? with the commitments of value and obedience you are bringing. Mysterious things happening in your life. In two months, everything in your life disappeared. You lost your job. Your wife lost her job. Your child who does well in school, very brilliant child, he's returned with a result that is an evil report. And you are watching. No, sir. Wake that child up and say, this night, we are going to do vigil in this house. You carry your lantern, carry your Bible, share one scripture. If you don't know any scripture, look for our teachings, get one scripture from there. Lead your family to prayer. Tell them, pray after me. Father, they repeat, in the name of Jesus, as a family, we declare no enchantment and no divination. Carry your CAC document from your business. Place it on the parlor there. Carry your child's uh, whatever it is. Place it as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, my child will not fail. He will not waste my money. Are we together now? Three days in a row, you had a dream and you saw your wife dying. Call her. I'm not just your husband. I'm the priest of this house. Let me lay my hands on you. Listen, don't think I'm just acting. Do it. This is the responsibility of leadership. While the people are sleeping in your house, wake up and start walking to your parlor, to your bedroom. Your little son wakes up and you say, don't worry boy, go and sleep. But if you want to learn, follow me because one day you will learn too. Lay hands on everything in your house. You had a dream that your car crashed in the name of Jesus. What God gives is for good. Every good and every perfect gift. God will not give me what will kill me. In the name that is above all. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You're about to have a meeting with people. And you know they are not born again. What makes you believe they will not tie charms. Or come with all kinds of things. You are a Christian but they are not Christians. 
and someone comes to sit down spend the whole night enchanting your name send forces to your office before their arrival by the time those forces are coming they will see light and angels they said the same way you were praying he was praying too <laughs> hallelujah ah come to koinonia destroy apostle and destroy koinonia it's a joke before you rise come on now before you rise here comes that fire the same fire we were furnished out of the same fire that protected Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego huh? is the same fire that can kill and destroy true. This world is not a gentle place of consensus. I know I'm, I'm just a kind person. If that is your philosophy, save journey. Some of us have seen the cruelty of men and spirits enough. You don't fight out of anger and in foolishness. But the truth is that the whole world is said have respect for the covenant oh lord for the dark places of the earth are the habitations of cruelty respect your covenant the dark places of the earth the devil will kill you if he can did you hear what i said he would destroy anything he can destroy you give him access to your life your children he will tear you he will use men he will use systems he will even use believers you need to learn to be strong. I want you to take a minute, just take one minute and pray and declare no weapon fashioned against me will prosper. Please open your mouth and pray. No weapon fashioned against me will prosper. Every tongue that rises against me will fall in judgment. Someone is praying. Para savas kalabaranta ke parasya, krata kada braga da beleke parus ka venda ke perest, krape ke pereke peradosa da keta. Pray over your business. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your influence. Pray over the purposes of God in the life of your children. Someone is praying. Shas ka belenta ke pras ka balakatos. Speak over your finances, no decline. In the name of Jesus, from glory to glory, speak over your job. All the antagonisms around your office, surely they will gather, but by favor, your God will scatter them. In the name of Jesus.